Hey guys, and welcome to Wisdom from North, the place for empowerment and transformation. I'm Janneke, and today I would like to share my advice on how we can be a service to this world, how we can contribute to this world as so many of us want to do without having tons of money, tons of time, and being a huge so-called success or having millions of followers. So I did a survey in my newsletter a while ago and I asked people about following dreams. And I asked, what is your main intention behind this dream? Why do you want to create it? What, what is that end result you want out of it? The big why, the big intention. And the number one answer that I got was, I want to help other people. I want to contribute to this world. I want to be of service. And that is a beautiful thing, right? So I asked further, what is that b biggest uh, frustration around that dream? And I asked those who were already following their dreams. And I asked, what is your frustration? And they answered that, well, I feel like I'm not reaching out to people. I want to uh, touch many more lives. And it seems like my business is not going ar around. So I feel like I'm not able to help people because I'm not reaching out. So I was thinking, so what can we do about that? Other than, you know, work on our skill sets, marketing, stuff like that. What can we do on a metaphysical level, on a self-development level to feel that we're actually helping people right now, not, you know, in a few years when we get there, how can, how can we close that gap uh, with being over here, wanting to help people and feeling that that dream is so far away in the future? So let's dig into that. So what is that main thing you hear children say again and again? It is, watch me, see me now, look at me dad, look at me mom, watch this, see what I did. So children needs to be acknowledged all the time. They want to be seen. And what often happens is that adults don't have too much time, you know, they're, they have busy lives. So they're not able to see their children 100%, right? Which is normal. But what we tend to do also is to acknowledge the children for what they're doing, not who they're being. They just want to be seen. I mean, when they draw a, a painting, they don't have to hear that, oh, you know, this was a beautiful painting. They just have to be acknowledged that they did something. They just actually want your attention. So what often happens is that we acknowledge them for, wow, what a beautiful drawing, how good you are, instead of just acknowledging them for the process, for what they did, uh, for who they are, for uh, the energy they put into it, we often acknowledge them for the results. And many therapists are saying that when we are acknowledged for everything we're doing instead of who we are being or the effort we're putting into something, that is the way we will treat ourselves as adults. So the way we are met as children is the way we meet ourselves as adults. So if we were acknowledged all the time for what we were doing, then when you are an adult, you will most likely uh, being very self-critical and only acknowledge yourself when you're performing and doing something that is good enough in your eyes. So why am I talking about children? Well, in the grand scheme of things, there is no such thing as time, right? So that means that all of us are walking around with this inner child inside of us who wants to be seen. And I think as long as we're human beings, none of us are perfect parents. So all of us still wants to be seen more and acknowledged. So I did this very interesting exercise uh, on a workshop one time many years ago where uh, there was this guy sitting next to me uh, and I was going to tell him a story. Uh, that I was very passionate about and he was going to act like he was not interested at all. He was just going to ignore me, but we had to sit there with each other. So I started telling him the story. I was very excited and I had to finish it. And he was sitting like that. He was yawning. He was looking at his watch. He was looking up at the ceiling. He was take, bringing up his cell phone. And it was so interesting to notice how I felt because I felt horrible. I felt I was not worthy of his time. 
I felt I was not valuable at all. I felt like a failure. I felt really uninteresting, unattractive. All of those really low vibrating feelings just came up and I felt horrible afterwards. And then we switched. So he was going to be super attentive and interested. And I told the story and he was paying attention. He was looking me into uh, my eyes all the way. He was like smiling when I smiled and laughed. And he was just playing along with me, like uh, almost um, copying, you know, uh, the way I was behaving. He was just playing along all the time. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful two minutes. Like I loved telling him the story. I felt like the most important person in the world. I felt like we clicked, we had chemistry. I felt light, light as a feather and I felt super attractive and sexy and all those good emotions. And after that, that made a real impression on me because on a deeper level, it was me that gave him the permission to make me feel a certain way but it takes a lot of lot of work with yourself to be able to not be influenced by other people I think you need to be Buddha in able to do that so we are influenced by other people all the time and I notice when there are people in my everyday life that are seeing me how much I like them that how much I appreciate that they make me feel seen so, I want to invite you to think about every interaction you have in your everyday life. All the people you interact with. How do you meet them? Are you seeing them? I would like to invite you to start practicing, acknowledging every person you interact with each day. And I'm not speaking about walking down the street and looking every person into their eyes because that's impossible right but i'm saying the people you have a conversation with the people you meet the people you interact with so it can be the guy who is cleaning your office that all of a sudden come into the room it can be your secretary it can be your boss it can be the receptionist it can be the guy who makes uh, food in the canteen it can be the bus driver it can be the person you buy coffee from or a grocery from do you see them when you buy your coffee so I want to advise you to just take those few seconds when you buy your coffee to see that person into her eyes and then thank them for the coffee afterwards and acknowledge them for actually making that order. You don't have to give them a lot of compliments or say a lot of things. Just be present with your eyes when you are interacting. And the bus driver, when you get on the bus, see the bus driver. And the lady that you're buying uh, products from uh, in, a, in a shop, see the person into her eyes, acknowledge them. This makes a huge difference for that person. That person all of a sudden feels valuable to you. That person feels important enough that you acknowledge them as another person human being as another consciousness because what happens is that in that moment there are only you like you are one consciousness and she or he is one consciousness and you are affirming each other's existence which is a really beautiful thing there is where we can heal those uh, traumas from when we're young when we were not seeing is by seeing each other again and again because then you feel that you are valuable. You make that person feel in that moment as the most important person in the world, even though it's just two or three seconds where you acknowledge that person. So what are the benefits with this? I would say that by doing this, you are helping this world become a better place. In Scandinavia, we have a very high uh, suicide rate. We have everything we need. We're not poor here. We have food, we have shelter, we have all that we need. But there's a lot of focus on status. So what is status about? It's about not feeling good enough, right? So we either need to do something to feel good. It has to do with not feeling valuable. So when we 
can um, do something about that. Start seeing each other for who we are instead of what we're doing. You actually help that person who has low, low thoughts about themselves, who don't feel valuable, to feel valuable, to feel that their existence on this planet is, um, has a purpose, has a meaning. Isn't that a beautiful thing to do to other people? So you might say, well, this is good and all, and this is really nice, but you know, I still want to reach a lot of people and I still want to uh, have my product sell to a lot of people so I can get by, so I can earn money, etc." Well, the beautiful thing about this uh, practice is that it has so many benefits. So one, when you're present with other people, you're practicing awareness. Life is happening here and now, not tomorrow, not yesterday. There is only one now and that is now. So when you are being aware with other people, you are expanding your awareness. You're being present in your own life as well. And it is in the moment that magic happens. It's not tomorrow, it's here and now. That is how we can close that gap between I want to help a million people. You know, I'm over here, but I want to be over here. I'm not selling. Well, it happens in the moment that opportunity rises. Only in the moment. Anything can happen in the moment. So you open yourself to much more possibilities when you're present in the moment with other people. So you are exercising that ability to be present, which open up possibilities for your career and for your deeper dream to actually manifest. So the second thing is, of course, a lovely thing that when you pay attention to others, when you really see them, they love you. They will remember you. Do you want to be liked by other people? See them. It's really simple. Just see them and they will love you. A third thing, which is beautiful, is that you guys know about law of attraction. So that means that whatever we have inside will mirror itself outside. So really directly, really concretely, when you see other people, they will start seeing you. All right, guys, that was what I had for you today. I would love to hear from you. Please leave some comments on your perspectives on this. Perhaps if you try it out, uh, how it went, I would love to hear from you. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't before. And if you want to get notif not notifications, because many people are saying that they don't uh, receive my videos, you have to click on the bell as well. All right, guys, I'm opening up this YouTube channel to many speakers that I work with. So you will also receive uh, wisdom and knowledge from them now onwards. And I'm so excited about that. And also uh, make sure that you check out my online magazine, wisdomfromnorth.com slash magazine. All right, guys, see you over there or see you in the next video. Bye bye.